Yo guys, what is good? Zakuragi back at it again for a performance review for the Rigorer AR1. So these might be one of the best budget models you can get for 110 bucks right now. So let's find out why and let's get into the good, the bad, and the ugly. And starting with traction, it's one of my favorite features of the shoes. So we got a full length radial traction pattern here and this stuff works so damn well. This type of traction pattern is tried and true, much like herringbone, so it didn't matter what chord surface I was playing on, I was getting elite level traction with all types of movements. And even when I was on the dusty chords, I didn't really find myself wiping the outsoles too much because these really didn't pick up that much dust. When I look at the grooves of the outsole right here, there's not too much dust buildup within there, which is great because it resulted in a consistent level of grip and bite when I was on those dustier chords and even when I was on the cleaner chords. I think I only slid out like maybe once or twice if I'm remembering correctly, but just awesome, awesome grip when it comes to the AR1s right here. And when it comes to durability of the outsoles, Indoors, I had no problems at all. They've held up well, but I can't speak to the outdoor durability because I haven't had a chance to take these outdoors just due to the weather in my area. Now getting into the cushioning setup for the AR1s, what we have here is an EVA foam carrier for the midsole right here. And then within the forefoot area here, we do have the brand's Showtime Foam, which is an ETPU type foam like Boost or Boom Foam. And as far as how it played on court, it was solid and got the job done, but honestly, it wasn't anything too crazy. You're not going to get an abundant amount of plushness from these, but you are going to get a more neutral and stable ride that is responsive, especially in that forefoot area. Because when you push off of the Showtime foam and exert more force into it, this is when you'll feel the Showtime foam most and feel the responsive feeling and bounciness that it gives you. Also, it does sit a little higher up off the ground, but still offers the right amount of court feel, which I enjoyed the feeling of while playing in these and they also provide some good impact protection as well. So as a quicker and shiftier guard myself, I really felt like this cushioning setup catered more towards my game and if you are the type of player that needs more cushioning from their shoes, I don't know if I'd exactly recommend the AR ones to you, but obviously you can go ahead and try them out if you want. If you want to try to make them a little more comfortable, switching out the insole is another great option, but all in all, for 110 bucks, you really can't go wrong what the shoe provides you as far as cushioning goes because, you know, other brands, especially the North American ones, with shoes at this price point wouldn't feel this good. So definitely a great bang for your buck option for cushioning. Now, moving along to the materials, I thought they were great to play in, no break in time needed, and I didn't have any issues with pain or discomfort. The cocoon inspired design with all the threads helped in making the shoes much more supportive and the fused materials in the high wear areas really helped with the durability of them as well. So when it comes to the lockdown and support of their shoes, it's another really strong feature that I loved. So starting with the lockdown, once you lace these things up your foot is locked in and secured as if it's stuck in a straight jacket and these things won't loosen up either because the laces have this design with this extra threading on it that helps in keeping it tight and we also have these cable wires coming out here and this also helps with holding your foot down into the shoes and then when it comes to the support you're actually getting a lot of that from the midsole right here because you actually sit within it so the midsole kind of acts as a wall that cradles your foot especially on this lateral side right here and then with these TPU pieces to help in reinforcing your foot so you get some great lateral containment and then combined with the wider base of the shoe right here you're also getting some nice stability and it really helps with preventing rollover so when it comes to the heel area there's a sturdy internal heel counter and then the midsole plus the TPU pieces act as an external heel counter which does an amazing job providing heel containment and then last but not least the TPU shank plate right here does an amazing, amazing job of giving the shoes some excellent torsional support and rigidity right here. So this is probably one of the most supportive shoes that I've tested out so far this year. And it's just crazy to me that you're getting this much supportive tech 
just for 110 bucks. So this is really gonna cater towards a lot of different players. So definitely look forward to that if you're gonna be buying a pair of these. So when it comes to sizing, go true to size. The shoes will cater towards most types of foot shapes. So going true to size will work best. But overall guys, for 110 bucks, this is well worth your money. It's one of the best bang for your buck options you can get on the market right now and it's one of my favorite shoes that I've reviewed so far this year so comment down below and let me know what you think about the shoes and if you played in them share your experience in the comments down below but we're at that point in the video now it's time for hashtag Zakuragi what you rocking so for today I got a shoe that I'm not too impressed with so far honestly. I have done a first impressions video so make sure you guys go check that out but I will have a performance review coming out for these very soon. So that is it for today guys. I appreciate you all for watching. I'm signing out. Peace.